health care accessible high quality affordable health care is something we can all agree on tonight we recognize health care innovators whose hard work affects us all our sponsor of this category could not be more appropriate independence blue cross a reliable and trusted leader of health care for individuals and companies large and small please welcome ibc's director of corporate development and innovation tom olenzak Dean, thanks. Uh, appreciate uh, you having us here. Uh, Got to say, Bob's a tough act to follow, but we'll do our <laughs> best here. So, on behalf of Independence Blue Cross and the Independence Center for Healthcare Innovation, uh, we're honored to sponsor this award. So, let's hear about the finalists. Independence Blue Cross is honored to sponsor the Healthcare Innovator Award. This new category recognizes three outstanding companies that have provided innovations with potential to make a large and positive impact on cost, quality, and access in healthcare. Let's learn more about our three Healthcare Innovator Award finalists. Our first finalist is Fibercell. Fibercell Science is an autologous cell therapy company focused on developing first-in-class treatments for rare and serious skin and connective tissue diseases with high unmet medical needs. Fibercell will transform the lives of patients suffering from the devastating, progressive, painful, blistering disease known as recessive dystrophic epidermolysis bullosa, or RDEB. This rare congenital skin disease inevitably leads to death, with most patients not seeing their 21st birthday. Fibercell's hope is to begin treating RDEB patients within their first year of life with our innovative gene therapies to reduce their pain and suffering, enabling them to live a normal life. Our second finalist is Horasure. Horasure Technologies is a market leader in point-of-care diagnostics for infectious diseases and other technologies designed to diagnose critical medical conditions. Horasure's innovative products include rapid tests for the detection of antibodies to HIV and HCV at the point of care and testing solutions for detecting various drugs of abuse. Horasure has leveraged proprietary technology and world-class scientific expertise to develop and commercialize highly accurate, versatile, and easy to use rapid diagnostic tests that are saving lives around the world. These have been groundbreaking, unprecedented medical products, including the first saliva collection devices for HIV and drugs of abuse testing, the first rapid HIV diagnostic test, the first rapid hepatitis C test, and now the first in-home HIV test, enabling consumers to learn their HIV status in the comfort and privacy of their own home. Our third finalist is Tabula Rasa Healthcare. Tabula Rasa Healthcare is a family of companies devoted to leveraging technology to improve healthcare. As providers grapple with new reimbursement models, as managed and accountable care organizations continue to expand, and as new partnerships emerge between payers and providers, Tabula Rasa seeks new ways to better manage their risk. Tabula Rasa is a Latin phrase from which we derive tablet and eraser. It is our opinion that the current healthcare system is in need of new thinking regarding personalized medication to address the issues regarding medication risk that have long plagued the industry, whereby preventable adverse drug events now eclipse 50 million incidents per year in the US. We have developed disruptive and innovative service models and software that lowers the cost of care, reduces trial and error medication selection, and improves patient outcomes, especially in the frail elderly population. Please give a round of applause for our finalists, Fibrocell, Orashore Technologies, and Tabula Rasa Healthcare. Tom, who is our Healthcare Innovator of the Year? All right, Dean. The winner is Tabula Rasa Healthcare. Accepting the award for Tabula Rasa Healthcare is Dr. Calvin Milton, Chief Executive Officer.
Many thanks to uh, the Greater Philadelphia Alliance for Capital and Technologies for this acknowledgement and their support. We were also the fortu uh, fortunate to win the TAC uh, Award in 2011 for Life Science Startup. So this is a double blessing for us. I would like to talk to the young entrepreneurs for a minute and have share three things that I've learned um, about entrepreneurship over the 11, 11 companies that we've started. Number seven and number 11 were our best ones for some reason. Since we started this company five years ago, we've grown very nicely from a value perspective particularly, and our personalized medication software, uh, the safety analytics, um, has materially reduced the incident of adverse drug events, ER visits, and hospitalizations. We started an IPO process for this company last month. Now how has this happened? We've been supported by many, many people. The first point is your team. You, when you fly into the Philadelphia airport, you come over and you see the Navy Yard there, and on the right side that you see the shipbuilding business, and it reminds me of building a company. You form the ship, inside the ship, you staff it with people you know and you recruit others, you imbue them with respect and an altruistic culture, you reward them, every one of our companies, uh, the, every employee has stock options, and if you do a good job with your corporate culture, your turnover is de minimis. You outfit, outfit the ship with a compass and all the team members know the heading and know why. You have a rudder to ensure that you're not tempted to wander off course or if conditions warrant to enable you to make an intentional pivot. Yet you support every person every day. And we are very grateful to Table 42, uh, the support leadership that came here our co-founder, uh, Chief, Ma uh, Chief uh, Marketing Officer, and my bride, Dr. Ursula Nolkin, uh, Dana Phil Poli, Director of Marketing Communication, Diane Semison, our PR consultant, Brian Adams, our CFO, Mike Greenolt, our Chief Pharmacy Officer, Joe Phil Poli, our Chief Information Officer, and Philip Keith, our Chief Operating Officer, along with Car Carlos Perez, our Vice President of Client Outcomes. So besides the uh, teams in the ship, the second thing that we hope the young entrepreneurs understand is your buoyancy. These are the faces of the consultants that you have, the law people, the business people, the finance people, the capital markets, which keep you afloat. And we are gratified for their support. Our friends and our business lawyer, our business advisor and our lawyer for 20 years now for our various companies, Steve Goodman from Morgan Lewis, our colleagues from the local financial markets, uh, for this company, Bruce Lorge and Saul Richter from Rittenhouse Ventures, Glenn Bressner and Eric Ornson from Original uh, Originate Ventures, Ed Dressler from Acewood Capital Partners, Tom Gordon from Silicon Valley Bank, Melissa Orson from New Jersey Economic Development Authority, Brian Hughes and Jen Strong from KPMG, and A.J. Jordan from Ernst & Young. We asked for their support, and they supported us, and we thank them. And the last point is, Besides your team and what gives you buoyancy is the ocean itself. You might remember the comedian, Yakov Smirnov. When he came to, to the US about 30 years ago from Russia, he was not prepared for the incredible variety of instant products in the grocery stores in America. And he said, on my first shopping trip, I saw powdered milk. You just add water and you get milk. Then I saw powdered orange juice. You just add water and you get orange juice. He said, and then I went down another aisle and I saw baby powder. And I thought to myself, what a country. <laughs> Truly the ocean of support that provides the opportunity for entrepreneurs to rise from the depths of, of problems to build great companies in this uh, environment is our country. Our country has its foibles, but we each are indeed blessed to be an American. So young entrepreneurs, give thanks to your team, give thanks to your external team that gives you buoyancy, and give thanks that you live here. God speed to all of you. Thank you. Congratulations.